This program is brought to you by Air Canada and Visit Florida. Endless sunshine, infinite possibilities. Our storm center is up and running here at the Weather Network. It's Friday, September the 10th. Ironically enough, this is the peak day traditionally of the Atlantic hurricane season and we have tropical storm force and hurricane force warnings for your hurricane uh, warnings for you in uh, eastern Newfoundland. So in St. John's, Nathan Coleman. Now Nathan, I know you arrived there yesterday. There was a lot to get together. First question is, were you able to secure a rental car? <laughs> yes, we, we finally got one, Chris. We were having some trouble with that, but uh, I we came without it, and we're, we're going to try to figure something out, but they had one last cancellation when nice. I arrived at the airport. So we got our rental car, we're mobile, and that's why we're here in Kitty Vitty. <laughs> All right, so you're prepared. So now my next question is, the folks that you've been talking with, uh, are they prepared? Are they taking this storm seriously? Yes, well, you can see, I mean, the, the government officials are reminding people to prepare for power outages, but we've been in and around asking some people, uh, and some are, aren't really taking it very seriously. Oh, it'll just blow over overnight. People have plans to go out tonight. Um, but I want to give that advice. Uh, you shouldn't be out uh, anytime late tonight because that's when we're planning uh, to, to be posting up in, in a secure location because it really ramps up, especially after the midnight hours. That's where, when we're going to see the worst of these winds and you do not want to be outside with loose objects blowing around. There could be debris. So you do want to take this one seriously. I know this place gets, <laughs> gets a lot of wind. They're used to it here, but uh, you, you do want to take it seriously. So um, you were giving a little hint of a timeline there. So I'm just going to ask you, Nathan, when do you expect that you're going to be uh, at your busiest? Well, we're, we're out here this morning. I'm, I'm squinting a little bit because it's it's so calm and uh, the sun's just reflecting off the water. Um, so this for, for the afternoon here, we're going to go in, get some rest, probably do get, get a few hours if we can, because we expect to be out all night. We're going to be live tonight, starting around 8, 8 p.m. with Kim McDonald. And then we're planning to just pull an all nighter because it is those overnight hours. So we're going to stay up as late as we can. Uh, we're going to keep it nice and safe. We're going to be uh, potentially in a parking garage and we're going to follow the updates. Uh, the, an another big, big issue here will be storm surge. That's more uh, on, on the southern coast, so we may have to travel there. Uh, but uh, we'll be keeping on top of it throughout the night. Yeah, well, that's the thing is that we've got high tide this uh, tonight coinciding with a lot of these very strong winds. And, you know, high tide and big wind is not a good combination. Nathan, thank you so much for joining us today. Get some sleep. Can't wait to, for the coverage coming in tonight. And stay safe. And uh, Dave Hodge is your camera operator. Give him a big thumbs up because we don't always acknowledge the person behind the camera. But Dave is going to be out there all all the way with you. All right, let's take a look at the, the storm itself. And again, this is a big one. It is about 1,200 kilometers south of Cape Race as of this morning, but it is moving its way northwards. And take a look at some of the winds we are talking about, the wind speeds picking up this evening, but really through the overnight hours, they could be gusts 130 to 160 kilometers per hour. The winds will be gradually easing through tomorrow morning and certainly by the afternoon.